Hey Chica Girl, Callie Knight here with Caroline from Marmaduke and we're at Yogurt Land at the Beverly Connection here to make some yogurt. Let's go! bit about your experience in Marmaduke. And I was so happy to be a part of it. It's my very first feature film and um, I got to spend you know eight weeks working with dogs. How was the experience of working with animals versus working with humans? It was great in the film. Um, we did a little bit of both. So I worked with human, you know I have two, we call them two leggers is what we call it on the set. And then I worked with a lot of four-leggers. We had like over 50 dogs um, on set at one time. So it was really different for me to work with animals. So what was one of your favorite experiences on the Marmaduke set? It's just the lifestyle in general, I think. You know, I mean, I get to go to a set every day and do what I love and get my hair and makeup done and eat amazing food and, you know, be in scenes. And, um, you know, particularly for this movie, since it's a family comedy, you know, it, it was a lot of really entertaining, fun scenes. What was it like working with George Lopez and Owen Wilson? When I first got the movie, I didn't even know that Owen Wilson and George Lopez were on board to be voice characters. So it was really interesting. We got the news while we were in Canada and stuff, but um, I remember the first time that I met them at the, the premiere and stuff, and they were very cool, um, just super funny, and it's so great to have your name attached to a movie with stars of that caliber. How did you originally become interested in acting? When I was about nine or ten, I, I really started begging my parents, hey, I kind of want to try, you know, theatrical acting, and, and it took years of begging, and, you know, persistence is key, but, you know, here I am today with my first movie, right? So something worked. <laughs> How do you think you're going to stay so grounded with all the success hitting you? I'm so not worried. I have two younger brothers, and my, I mean, like, you know, my brother's baseball games are just important as my movie premieres. You know, and I still have to do chores. I still have to help with the dog. I mean, I'm about as normal as it gets, and my family will pop my head when it gets too big. Earlier in the interview, you mentioned your parents, which are always so important. How supportive are they of your career, and uh, what type of thanks do you want to offer them? Oh, so, so many thank yous. Oh, my goodness. They, they know I love them. Um, you know, it was funny. In the very beginning, I told you, you know, that they, they were really kind of hesitant about, you know, letting me do theatrical acting. Mainly my mom, just because, you know, she's seen what's happened to some of the stars. I mean, there's a lot of great role models in Hollywood, but there's a lot of bad ones too, you know, and, and we all know who, who they are, I'm sure, you know. But, um, so my mom was really hesitant about that, and rightfully so, just because she wanted to protect me, you know. But, um, you know, my parents have been so instrumental and so supportive in nurturing my dream and, you know, driving me up to L.A. and being supportive and same with my little brothers. And, and so I'm so grateful to have such a wonderful family who, who really does um, encourage me to be my best. Do you have a certain colleges you're interested in attending? Education is so important to me and so there's definitely like some dream schools you'd love to attend. You know, I mean Juilliard and NYU are awesome schools that specialize in the arts and stuff but you know I'm just kind of like excited to see where it takes me and, and what's in my future. It's gonna be a surprise. So what words of advice can you you know offer our Chica girls? Oh goodness, do I really look that wise? <laughs> I don't know. What am I gonna say? Oh my goodness. Um, I think what you know, just what I've always said, you know, follow your dreams, believe in yourself, and I think that's definitely a recipe for success. And and I think you know, just like not growing up too fast. You know, I mean, I'm 14 and I'm <laughs> eating yogurt with sprinkles. You know, like I mean, it's just enjoy what you have, kind of, and really live for the moment. Shorts or skirts? Right now, shorts. Real nails or acrylics? Real. Short hair or long hair? Long. Heels or flats? Heels. Rob Pattinson or Zac Efron? Zac Efron's got amazing abs. Zac Efron. Yogurt or ice cream? Yogurt.